What's going on YouTube? Sundeep M3 back again with another video. Hope you guys are enjoying the uploads and as always be sure to like, comment, subscribe and share for more videos. If you guys caught my last video of the impact one, in the beginning I was mentioning that something special is coming to the channel in the next video and say hello to our 2022 BMW X4M competition. I've been looking for something else to add to the channel as well to the G80. Don't worry, I still have that car and more videos to come, so stay tuned for that. Let me give you guys some background on this car. We've been looking about for three months or so since the beginning of summer, just casually kind of seeing what's out there with the market. We did test drive one that was a 2021 pre-LCI facelift, so that didn't have the wheels and just basically the bumpers and everything else was from the older generation from 20 to 21. So that one was nice, but we did see a lot of um, things with that as issues as well in the forums and the warranty was expiring and such. So we decided to pass on that one, even though it was a good deal and decided to focus our search in for the LCI only. And when we wanted the LCI, we were primarily interested in two to three colors basically marina bay blue which is what this one is was our top choice followed by brooklyn gray and then a possibility of doing black sapphire metallic as well so it matched the g80 and just be stealthy and aggressive the market for these and the x3ms is pretty hot as well right now since there's only about i guess 60 or so lcis in 2022 which is specifically what we are looking for since we wanted to get into the LCI generation, but not pay the premium of a 23 or 24, which were very high in prices, more than my GAD M3 was. So we've managed to find this one after searching for months and missing out on a bunch of other vehicles. Basically, if the car was posted, if you didn't call that day or maybe the next day, they were pretty much sold, especially if they were a good deal. So when we saw this one about a couple weeks or so, we jumped on it, gave the dealership a call. They were out in Virginia of Arlington. It was a local Honda dealer over there, about two and a half hours to three hours from Philly. So once we gave them a call, we put in a deposit to secure the vehicle, and then we were able to go the next weekend to pick it up. So basically my wife had a previous Genesis G70 2019. It started to have some minor issues and maintenance needed like brakes, rotors, uh, wipers, and a bunch of other things. The dealer quoted us about $6,000 for repairs for all those things. And they're not all required or needed, like some things we could do ourselves, which we did like the cabin air filter, but other things like spark plugs and so forth are all needed on the upcoming 50,000 mile service. So we ended up just passing on those and just doing the oil and the bare minimums and just kind of being able to push that car through in hopes of finding an X4M. We managed to get a good deal on the Genesis as well as on this vehicle and all the numbers matched up to what we wanted and for this fully loaded vehicle as well, which we wanted everything down spec to the T as if I were to order it brand new. So we were really happy with that. I'll go into all those pricing details maybe in another video in the comments if you guys are interested let me know for sure now you guys are probably interested to know since i said fully loaded what does it actually include i know a lot of people loosely use that term fully loaded and don't basically have every single option that's on these vehicles but i'll put up a picture of the msrp monroney sheet which shows all the specs and I'll give you guys a walkthrough of what we have as well. Starting with the front, we do have the shadow line lights. Basically that does darken out the interior housing and makes it black on the top part and the rest of the bottom. So it gives it a more aggressive, stealthy appearance. And for the price of 300 or so, that's definitely a much needed option. Unfortunately, as you guys know, my G80 M3 didn't have that, but it's not too big of a deal as long as it had the laser lights. 
Then making our way down here, you guys see the driver's assist plus sensor. So that includes basically all the parking features as well as the lane assists and kind of the Tesla self-driving. So that was another feature we wanted to have since you might as well just have it along with other parking features and it'll come in handy in the long run. As you guys can see, this is a 50th year edition. So we do have the badging in the front, rear and the wheels as well. So that's a really nice touch and kind of goes with the whole vibe and makes it more special. And this is an LCI vehicle, like I was saying, from 22 to 24. So you do get the upgraded bumpers as well. And I really like that boomerang kind of shape design. Some people do like the pre-LCI, but I feel like this is definitely more modern with the grill and so forth. So making our way to the wheels, we do have the 892M. As you can see, they do have the brake dust issue as well. We'll get into that in another video. But basically, these wheels are more of an upgraded option. A lot of people do get the other ones. I believe it's 765M, correct me if I'm wrong. But basically those wheels, I just don't like the design. These kind of look more like the 666Ms or like the G80A26M design with the more spokes. Some people don't like them for having to wash them and just that design. But I really like the darker wheel setup versus the silver. Kind of goes more along with the aesthetic of the vehicle. So it's hard to find these with this wheel setup. And a lot of pre-LCI guys want these as well. So it was definitely something that we must have on this vehicle. With the competition package as well, you do get the black grills, the black uh, boomerang side vents. I believe the mirror caps and trim. And then making our way to the rear, you do have the black LCI bumper set up along with the trunk spoiler and just kind of a little spoiler on top. And you also get the 50th badge as well. And as you guys can see here, X4M competition badging and nice gloss black finish. Just really sets it off. The competition package does also include the gloss black exhaust tips as well as a different exhaust, I believe, which sounds a little louder. So it definitely is a G80 M3 on stilts, basically, as terms of the sound. And also with the competition, you get a power bump. I believe it's 503 horsepower and like 479 or so with torque. So same specs as the M3. Now we'll make our way into the interior and then I'll give you guys a walkthrough of what other options we have as well on this vehicle. So it does have a black interior. We were also looking for secure, but I think black just really sets it off and matches with everything as well. So with the black, we also do have the Merino interior. So I believe the leather on the doors, not sure about this top part with the stitching, it might be. Let me know in the comments, but pretty much all these finishings, the seats have more of a premium kind of leather look to it, softer to the touch than usual, cheaper ones. So this was about a thousand dollar option, I believe so, and definitely recommended and needed. Another must spec option for us was the executive package, which includes the heads up display. As you can see, you get parking assist plus, I believe and then the gesture controls and a few other minor things as well. But that was something really nice to have. And the executive package also includes heated front and rear seating, which is nice to have, especially in these cold climates in the East Coast area. So there's the heated button right there. And then if you look over to the center, usually these buttons are just for heat, but it has this other button kind of uh, look right there. And then when you press that, it pops up this on the screen. So you can go ahead and change from heated to cooled, etc. And then just control it right there to switch it off as well. So a really nice feature to have in the summer and heat. The ventilated option is another 300 extra. It doesn't really cool the seats too much. It's more so just blows air. So it just keeps you less sweaty, I guess. But for that price, it's definitely worth it. Another useful feature to have in this area is the remote start. So I don't see it was listed on the MSRP sheet which I showed you guys attached earlier, but I believe you can purchase it as a $300 option. So maybe one of the previous owners had done that and was able to get it installed. 
so that you can use your phone through the My BMW app as well as triple clicking the key fob and that'll start up the car. So a really great feature to have in this upcoming winter as well as cooling the car down in the summer. And then one unexpected option that we really didn't look for but we were surprised that had was the M Drivers Package. That basically gets you a driving course at the M Performance School for one day, I believe, which is usually a thousand dollar option or so. And then it also removes the top speed limiter on this car. I believe it increases it to 177, if I'm not wrong. I'll put up a link of what the actual one is. So we don't really plan on tracking it or hitting 177, but I mean, if it's included, you might as well have it. And it's just a great option as well. So that brings the total of this MSRP to 90,000, which is probably one of the higher ones that I've seen, unless you're getting individual paint or other factory carbon options like the grills, mirror caps, or spoilers. So this is more than loaded enough for what we needed and exactly what we were looking for. Have had this vehicle for a few weeks now, and I'll get into more videos as well about things I love, hate about it, and we're gonna be doing some mods as well. Again, this is a daily driver for us. Um, my wife uses it twice a week to go to the work at the office. And then the other days we just use it on the weekends or if we're doing any road trips or things like that in the future, it'll be nice to have with the added trunk space and back seats. I'll show you guys that as well if you're curious. Since this is the 4M, the roof does slope down kind of in an angle towards the back since it's more of like a sport coupe is what they call it. So you do lose a little headroom if you're about six feet tall or so, which I am, but it's still great enough and we don't really have anyone sitting in the back too much. Legroom is really nice. You still have that bump in the middle, but that's fine. Three people can sit comfortably, two definitely. And then moving our way to the trunk. So you do have the same kick action under the diffuser, but you can also press this badge in pop it open really big trunk you can fold the seats down as well so in case we need to haul anything bigger we can definitely do that now with this vehicle and as well usually you do have the space saver option but this came with the additional uh, trunk spare wheel so something nice to have as these cars don't have run flats so if you get stranded you would need to call roadside support or you can basically use that or the tire inflator patch kit so again, trunk space, really good. More than enough for what we need. If you're looking for something more, maybe the 3M would be in terms of better option for you as far as the trunk and headroom space. As I said, we're gonna have a bunch of videos as well coming up this fall for this vehicle as well. And we'll definitely put it through the ringer and compare it to that G80 M3. Initial impressions are it's super fast for an SUV. You wouldn't expect it for this capability, but it does keep up with the M3 as well. Really great handling, and I love the aesthetic looks, especially in this Marina Bay Blue. It's for sure a head turner. You don't see this type of shade too often, more so something similar to Portimao Blue. But yeah, what do you guys think? Comment down below. Is the G80 M3 and the F98 X4M a dynamic duo and the two of the best S58 cars you can have in the garage setup? As always, stay tuned for more videos. Sunday Ben 3 out.